So I'm in the shop now. But that's not how my day started out. Happy holidays. This uh, this week's uh, Thanksgiving. Um, thankful for a lot. Hope you guys uh, thankful for a lot and uh, enjoy some time with your family. Anyway, right now I'm on my way to a Thanksgiving party that Savannah's having at her school. So I'm gonna go meet Heather and check that out. It should be fun. Guys, you gotta take some time out of your day to go watch your kids grow up. I will be the first to tell you that sometimes that's hard to do. We're just we're just wired differently. We're wired our interests are in other places than our kids sometimes. I'm guilty of it myself. You know, I wanna be out um, creating and working and trying to provide for my family. And a lot of times, um, my wife and my kids probably suffer a little more than they probably should but I know that that's the way that I'm wired most males are wired like that and so I don't hold it against myself I will tell you that make yourself go watch your kids grow up uh, even though sometimes you don't want to do it or it may seem inconvenient to go to some of these little school functions in the end uh, you will definitely be happy that you did it. Besides the fact that you're spending time with your kids, it's good to just get away anyway. Sometimes when you get away, you come back to projects, you come back more focused than you were before you left. Alright guys, today I'm going to be working on this tool cart that I've kind of been alluding to on social media. I'm going to try to get finished up today. Today's a special video though because this is going to be like a father-daughter project. So Lawton's going to be helping me. She uh, is trying to earn some money for a trip she wants to go on and so I'm putting her to work. Alright, so let me show you what I got going on. So just uh, used to be a craftsman toolbox. I've been wanting a tool cart. I was going to buy one. I had this thing laying around the shop. Figured it'd probably make a great cart. Um, mainly like fabrication carts. So I got my Coleco's uh, clamps. Got my my butt wheel clamps. There, aircraft rivets. Got all my uh, my shears, some Scotch Brite. Just gonna kind of keep the stuff I rarely need available right here in this box. The rest of it's empty right now. I got my shears down at the bottom. Probably gonna make a mount for some drills at some point. Got it set up now. It's kind of just uh, mocked up, but it kind of holds all my air tools. Basically all I did was a piece of aluminum, just bead rolled this uh, channel in it, and then cut these little notches for each one of the uh, air tools to kind of just slide in there. It'll make it nice, I always have them right there where I need them. I have yet to clean this up. Uh, basically, I just bent a little lip on the end of this thing too. I have yet to clean it up. I'll get this thing cleaned up and I will rivet it uh, to the brackets that are underneath, which I have yet to do. So, 
that's what I started with. And then I bent these uh, shelves up. They're gonna go off each side like this. And these solid panels will go down here. Obviously, I'm not just sticking aluminum panels on this thing just to have aluminum panels on it. I'm gonna bead roll these things, try to make them uh, look cooler than they currently do. Kind of spruce this box up a little bit, kind of make it look like a fabricated box, and uh, obviously make it very useful. I don't know what I'm gonna have Lawton do. Maybe uh, might get her bead rolling a little bit. We'll see. a lot about uh, not really worrying about exactly how to do certain things I mean half the time I have no idea what I'm doing I just kind of start and then it comes to me as I start to build whatever it is that I'm building and then in the end it ends up being something I usually like so this is kind of the same thing I've got some new dies I've never used before I'm gonna try them on this one I've kind of just drawn out some uh, some ideas on this as far as how I want to bead roll it so I'm just gonna start bead rolling and see how it looks. I mean, what's the worst can happen? If I ruin it, I'll just make new ones. Yeah. 
All right, guys, making progress on this thing. So I've got the side panels basically done. Um, everything's clean good on now. The design I did, I kind of did this design so I could cut the center section out on the other side. So I wanted to be able to like have a handle. And so on this side, it's actually missing versus on this side. And everything matches the back. Got everything pretty much scuffed. Side pieces are done. I'll probably come in here at some point towards the end and, and either put some, I don't know, bar stock or maybe some tubing. Something along this bottom where it's uh, a little more sturdy and, and give it uh, a little aesthetics. Aesthetics. Anyway. So now, basically what's left is uh, I want to make some filler panels. So down here on the bottom, um, it's got these big, it's just ugly, big gaps. I want to do some aluminum panels to go in here, places to hold my pins. Um, gonna bead roll it, may do a little design. We're gonna do that on both sides. Uh, the other side, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet as far as maybe place for uh, uh, tape measures and stuff. So anyway, we're getting close. There it is, the tool cart, at least the start of it. It's not finished, obviously I've got to rivet everything together. Um, I just use the Clecos to make sure that I don't want to make any changes before it's finally installed and I can get a good look at it and make sure there's, you know, I don't want to change anything. Once I've got it all figured out, I'll go back and rivet everything together. I'll just use the same holes that the Clecos are in. I'm sure I'll do more to it. This is it for now though, I want to start using it. I know you guys are gonna be like, man, you should be working on the goose. Why aren't you working on the goose? And sometimes I just need to get away, do something a little creative. You know, the creative part of the goose is done. It's just work at this point. So 
this gave me a little outlet to be creative. Who knows? Maybe it'll even make me work faster. Creativity is important in life. It's really important to me at least. It's kind of an outlet that I use. If you guys have been around for a while, you'll remember a quote of mine. You know, a lot of times I'm quoting other people. I'm going to quote myself today. The quote of mine that's like in the beginning of when the channel was, was created um, is basically me saying, I don't want to possess the final product. I want to create it. I think a lot of people, you know, they're unhappy. They have possessions. They, they really want this truck. They go buy it once they have it. Then they get tired of it and they want to sell it and then they move on to something else. And it's because it's not the possession of that item that they want. It's the acquisition of that item that is interesting to them. And for me, it's the creation of that item. I want to create it. I don't necessarily want to possess it. Anyway, that's it for this week. Hope I inspired you to go do big things. Pretty simple little project here. Something that you can do. If you have any questions about any of the tools that I used to build this cart, I've done Friday videos on everything that I used. And I will put links to those videos in the description so you can go check them out. That's it. Go do work, son.